This is Wamda Studio and we're joined by Mr. Sabur Sethi and he is the president of City University of Information Technology in Peshawar. My first question is if you could just tell us a little bit about your business and whether you could actually call education a business? Uh, yes, end of the day it uh, unfortunately uh, is a business. Ultimately you are uh, contributing to a society in um, terms of education and creating uh, plenty of jobs. If I talk about my specific uh, arrangement. Uh, my father initiated, a, opened a school back in 1979, um, a pioneer uh, in, in Peshawar uh, with only 300 students. That was in fact the first private purpose-built school in, in, in Frontier, in Peshawar. Uh, so uh, it started off with 300 students and now it has over 17,000 students. Uh, I joined uh, the, the, the business after my completing my education from UK uh, in 1992. Uh, I was in the schools uh, for about uh, six years uh, and in 97 I uh, entered into a higher education and opened a college uh, with a very little investment uh, but my primary objective was the only quality because I wasn't that much worried about finances as we had a huge setup at the back. Uh, so I concentrated only on quality and alhamdulillah uh, that has paid off. Uh, and now we have got uh, two colleges and a university, chartered university by the government. Um, and we were one of the first four universities in the province. Uh, for the reason the, we were granted this uh, charter was because of the performance of the colleges uh, because the quality was extraordinary. Um, you were talking about finances, you know, if we're talking about young entrepreneurs who want to start something like this, then uh, how difficult is, was it for you to generate finance? Uh, no, it is, it is I, uh, I believe and realize that it's very simple and easy. Uh, as long as you just only focus upon uh, the quality and uh, identify the right people for the right job, uh, nothing is difficult. Uh, these days, uh, now I alone, uh, I think I, if, I, if I just independently look at my project, which I initiated, uh, was just with, uh, I would say, started off with one million rupees, uh, which is nothing. And now it is uh, over um, uh, 300 million rupees. So in 11 years, from one million to 300 million is, um, I think it's possible. But you have to be very much focused upon a few key issues uh, which are uh, required. One is you have to be uh, obviously consistent uh, with, with uh, what you are doing. Uh, it shouldn't be, uh, well, some people agree with me and some won't. Uh, diversifying, uh, uh, my personal experience is, uh, is, is that I've been successful of not being diversifying. Uh, I was I was in education, and I stick myself to education and focused on the quality and uh, identifying the right people uh, for the um, uh, specific jobs. You're saying that you basically focused on quality, like quality control is a big element of running a successful business, especially something that's continuing, like education. So, how exactly is that translated into your day-to-day -day activities of the university? There are so many elements for example let's start off in, in uh, I don't know about other businesses that much but talking about education uh, you have to be focusing upon the evaluate evaluation system uh, that has to be um, as authentic as possible uh, merit has to be followed throughout at every level discipline has, must be observed from the gate till the head of the institution um, so what is your outlook for um, the coming three years? What is your vision? Like, what, how do you aim to see this university expand or... As I said, uh, if I'm specific about uh, uh, my university in Peshawar, these days we are going through a tough time in terms of finding a good faculty. Uh, and uh, this, is, this is the aim, uh, I would say it's a very short term but it has to be, uh, uh, I'm trying to work upon that. So I, I'm a bit uh, focusing upon a short-term strategy right now uh, to, to strengthen the faculty. 
we have a good faculty, but as the system is growing uh, with the next uh, couple of years, for that we need to have the right people. In, in the beginning, we had an affiliation with the uh, British Accreditation Council. In fact, we were the only university in Pakistan which was accredited by that, and that helped us a lot in, in getting the right quality and uh, uh, the appropriate uh, for setups for the uh, good educational institution. Um, but unfortunately, uh, from last three years, the inspectors from UK could not come because of the travel ban or whatever, and this was a setback, uh, I would say, uh, for the university, but to, 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 to further improve in that area. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much.